the Glenwood community today and I'm here to talk to you about a homicide that occurred on Sunday uh, morning here in this community. Um, we are looking for help from the public on anything that they might have to help us and assist us in this investigation. On Sunday morning, um, I released the name of the, the victim of uh, this homicide, um, Mr. Dion William McCallum, 49 years old, um, was the victim of a gunshot uh, in his home. He was at home with one of his family members at the time of the incident. This occurred at approximately 5.45 in the morning on Sunday. And we're looking for information, dash camera video, uh, security video, any videos on businesses or households that might help us in determining um, what happened uh, Sunday morning. It is alarming to find out and to, through our investigation, to see that um, this, this particular incident, there is no reason for us to believe that Mr. McCallum was targeted at this time. And so for that reason, we hope that members of the Glenwood community will reach out to the police and speak to us um, with any information that they might have from early that morning. The Edmonton Police Service had 158 shooting events in 2020. 10 of those resulted in um, death. Year to date, we've already had eight firearms shooting incidents in the city of Edmonton. And public safety in the city of Edmonton is the priority of the Edmonton Police Service. And we are hoping that the public can assist us in this investigation. So from the public, we would like the cooperation of the public and the community with any uh, security footage they might have at their homes, any dash camera footage they might have off their vehicles or anyone in the area that might have eyewitness to um, anything that would have been going on at 545. It's a quite a quiet community. So on a Sunday morning at 545 in the morning, there's really not a lot of activity out here. Uh, and so if anyone saw anything, we'd like them to come forward.